There is a saying in medicine that is critically important. One should not do a test unless one knows what one will do with the results of that test. And screenings are a perfect example of that. Just because you can screen for something does not necessarily mean you should screen for it, but there are recommendations and they are set forth by both the CDC and the U.S. Preventive Service Task Force. How often you go to your doctor or healthcare provider really is not one size fits all. The general recommendations for screening and doctor's visits are based on age and they also fall out differently for men versus women. There is the possibility with associated risks when we talk about screening tests. We're always making the decision in clinical medicine and public health between risks and benefits and options and alternatives. It's four questions. Risk of doing the test, risk of not doing the test, benefits of doing the test, and benefits of not doing the test. Screening tests can affect pregnancy, and this is something that any obstetrician or midwife knows and deals with on a regular basis. It's not just a matter of, why do I need to know this? Is this just information? But it's also, will it affect care? And that could be care of the pregnant woman during pregnancy, care of the woman after delivery, or care of the fetus or neonate after delivery. So screenings during pregnancy are very important. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.